Hi, and welcome to the Urban Herbalist YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about rosemary. It's not just a culinary spice. Rosemary is such a versatile plant. You can use it for medicinal purposes. You can use it for spiritual purposes. You can use it for flavoring your foods. And you can also use it for beauty. So we're going to talk about some of the things you can do with the rosemary plant. First of all, it's very easy to grow. I started these from seed last spring and as you can see it's growing nicely. When you want to harvest the rosemary you'll want to make sure you keep two-thirds of the plant intact. So you would cut it about here and then take the leaves from here on up. So we're not going to do that today. January is not the best time to harvest so it doesn't overwinter outside where I live. I live in a colder climate so it has to overwinter inside but I'm still going to harvest it in line with the seasons. So you want to harvest it in the spring before it flowers when most of the energy is in the leaf. So we're not going to trim it today, but if you were to harvest the rosemary, leave two-thirds of the plant intact, then trim it and take the leaf stem. And one way you can dry it is to tie the stems together, hang it upside down in a dry location for a few weeks, and then your leaves should be dry enough to harvest so that you can use. But this is a very wonderful plant. Let's talk about some of the health benefits of rosemary. Rosemary is very well known to help with cognitive function, with your brain function. If you are trying to remember something, if you have trouble with short-term memory, long-term memory, if you need to focus on something, rosemary will help with the cognitive function. It's also anti-inflammatory and it's also helpful for digestion. In fact, a lot of the Italian herbs you'll find are helpful for digestion. But rosemary is, is great. So first of all, medicinally, it's good for brain, it's good anti-inflammatory, it's good for digestion. You can drink it as a tea, you can make a tincture out of it, or just use it as a spice in the food that you're cooking. Now for beauty, rosemary is excellent for oily skin. You can make an infusion out of the rosemary leaf and make that into mix it with a little bit of alcohol into a tincture so that you have a toner that you can use if you have problems with acne or oily skin. Also an infusion of rosemary can be used to stimulate hair growth or you can make an oil infusion. You can use the water infusion the rosemary leaf as a hair rinse or you can infuse the rosemary leaf in oil and just rub it into your scalp and that will help stimulate the hair growth. Rosemary can also be used for spiritual purposes. You can take the dried leaf and powder it and use it as an incense for clarifying and purifying an area. It's also a very protective herb. You can hang a sprig of rosemary over your door to protect your home from any unwanted visitors. It's also great for helping with psychic and intuitive abilities. Rosemary essential oil is another easy way to use it. If you have a headache, this is a great way to use the rosemary plant. You can do a steam inhalation, either using the essential oil or the leaf in a pot of boiling water and breathe that in to help give you some relief from, from a headache. You can also use the essential oil. Never put it directly on your skin. Always dilute essential oil into a carrier oil such as olive oil or any vegetable oil. Grapeseed is another common one I like to use. But in a pinch, olive oil works great. Put a couple of drops in a tablespoon of olive oil and you can use that also for your hair if you're looking to stimulate hair growth but mainly it's great for the aromatherapy when you breathe in the essential oil that will really help with headaches and for your cognitive abilities so if you are working on a project or you're reading something and you need to really amp up your memory a bit you can breathe in the essential oil and it will help make you alert help you focus and help you remember so here is the dried rosemary leaf what it looks like dried and sifted you can make this into an infusion or an into a tea you can use the essential oil and what I've left what I prefer to do when possible 
grow your own. So it makes a great house plant, especially if you live in the colder climates. In the warmer climate, climates, you can grow it outside and it will be fine winter, all winter long. And this way you have it available when you want it. So I want to thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment on the video. And don't be afraid to try some rosemary, especially if you're a student and need to study for a test or just want to improve your memory in general. So thank you for watching.